had this very ridiculous idea. No, I'm scraping this idea. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to create something that's not so silly, not so stupid, something that's actually useful a portfolio website. It's the kind of project that every starting developer likes to do. And I have done one in the past. In fact, I've built a couple of portfolio websites, hated them, scraped them, built new ones. And I always wondered, how do I bring in this element of uniqueness into portfolio websites? So that's what we're going to try and achieve today. Create a very unique portfolio site, something that nobody ever thought of. So that's what we're going to try and achieve today. What's the time? It's 7.39 in Berlin right now. That means I have about three and a half hours before I go to sleep to build this. And I think it should be possible. I don't know if I will have time to publish it, but maybe I'll try and publish it tomorrow. Okay, let's go. To create a portfolio website, we first need to know what exactly we want in our portfolio. And I'm going to use Miro to draft that out first. The first question I asked myself was what goes in a portfolio? And I narrowed down to these few skills like a professional summary, education and work experience, technical skills, soft skills, that kind of stuff. So I narrowed down to these eight points and we're going to try and include all of those eight points into our website. Because I want our website to be very unique, I want to first see and check out what a traditional portfolio website looks like so that I know what I don't want to create. Now I have a very good idea of what I don't want to build. I don't want that to be a scrolling effect. I want that to be more colors than just black and white. And I don't want it to be too chaotic for sure. While researching these other websites, I had this very ridiculous idea. What if my portfolio website was actually a Google Chrome browser. So this is what I'm thinking. This outer shell is my actual Chrome browser. Our website will replicate Chrome and the user can navigate different tabs with clicking on some tabs up here, just like they do for Chrome. So there will be different tabs here. The different tabs can represent these different elements that we had come up with that goes into a portfolio. And there will be a main screen here. How do I make the content inside look interesting? Okay, I can't think of anything. I think I'm just going to quote this first part, which is creating this container that looks just like Google Chrome and being able to navigate across different tabs. And then we're going to come back and see if we can think of a cool way to represent information inside each of these different tabs. For this project, we're going to be using React. I feel like I've used a lot of React on these projects recently, so I really have to switch up and use new technology. But I think I could do this in pure HTML and CSS, but I just find it so much easier to use a framework. And also because we want to do cool things like the tabbing logic and maybe cooler things in the future because we still have two hours. So I think React is a good way to go. Okay, we are at step 0 0.1 because now we have a decently working tabs, but it looks nothing like Google Chrome. So I'm going to have to fix that up, which is what we're going to work on now. So far, this is what we have. Um, the tabs look still quite ugly, but I added the shadow effect here and curved them so that they look pretty similar to the Chrome tabs. And also added these small buttons here to mimic the Mac OS, a search, which doesn't really work, but you can type things there. But I think to make it look very much like Chrome, we definitely need to increase the length of each of the tabs and that's gonna need some CSS. So that is way too long. I think I'm gonna reduce it. This is decent, but 
the sizing of the Chrome tab looks a lot smaller, so I think I'm going to make it even smaller. Yeah, there is a misalignment in terms of where these buttons are, so I definitely need to fix that. So it's 8.25 now. We just spent around an hour, like 50 minutes, and this is what we have right now. I think it looks similar. Okay, it looks very much like Safari. I don't know why, maybe because of the colours, but we are going to fix the colours, don't worry. But at least when it comes to like tabs moving and it displaying different projects, um, I think it looks something like a browser. So I'm not unhappy with this. The next step is to add some colours and we need to figure out how to make the actual content look interesting. I think I'm going to make myself some tea as I brainstorm what we could put inside the content. Now that we have the tea and we have one and a half hours left, the next step is definitely to improve the colour, make it a little nicer. That took a while, but I found my favourite colour palette and I really like this dark theme going on. I still haven't thought of what the main screen should have. Oh, what if I put a coffee cup? I like drinking coffee. So what if every tab will be a different food? Let's think about this. I wonder if I can do like a pixel coffee cup and there's just steam vapor coming out of it in this. And it says like life of course on top with the vapor. That would be so cool. Okay, I'm going to try and create that. Ask Claude. I have no idea if this is even possible. But okay, Claude is creating a React component for me. And see, it's one of those things that if there was no LLMs like this or ChatGPT, things like this would have just taken me so much longer. Yeah, that's not very nice at all. So it came up with the code, but this is what it previews as. Can I make this bigger? So this is what it's previewing. Realistic round coffee cup. Um, and actual steam coming out. It's okay for it to get it wrong in the first try. I'm not judging it at all. This would have taken me very long to code. Oh, this is not bad at all. The steam kind of looks legit, but I just want the cup to um, look a lot rounder. So I'm going to try and give it I'm going to find something on Pinterest, like a cute ceramic cup. Oh, this is very cute. So I'm going to give it to Claude. That does not look like what I expected. Um, I think I can work with this. Okay, I'm just going to copy this code, but I can modify whatever it is myself. So I'm going to create a new component that is strawberry cup. I broke something. I'm so excited to see how it looks. Um, okay. It could be a bit smaller, but I think it's cool. No, I'm scraping this idea. It makes the entire site look so childish. Pretty cheap as well. So I think I'm scraping the idea of adding this cup. It's not giving aesthetic. So that brings us back to square zero. It's nine o'clock. I have one hour left and I have to find a way to fill the content. Oh my god, okay, so I was writing in my notebook trying to come up with ideas of what I could actually put inside this diagram. And then I realized that in my notebook, which is a blank canvas basically, when I draw something, it does look pretty nice. So what if I mimic that on the website? So it's a browser with a notepad inside it. And my home page, someone will be drawing out life, of course, with a canvas behind. I don't know if you can imagine it, but let me try to create it so that I can show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what I meant. The background looks something like a notepad, just like my notebook. And over here, I have, when the page loads, somebody's typing, life of course. And then in the next line, then we can type out a summary of me as well, maybe. It would be so much cooler if I could have a like pen moving, but we don't have time for that. I also want to make the entire screen to the notepad, so I'm going to 
update the code to do that as well. And now I'm thinking maybe we should make all the screens notepads. You know what? This look is not bad. It actually looks like a notepad. So this is my home page. And then when I refresh the screen, it shows live, of course. And then I'm going to add a summary. What else did we want to add? Tab. This is how we're going to break it down. My home page is going to have a professional summary and my education. Then the experience tab will have the work experience, personal projects. The technical skills and the soft skills will be on the skills section. And then we will have achievements uh, with the certificates and everything else as well. So now let's update all the tabs to have this information. And then we're going to hopefully have a decently working portfolio site. I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress since the last time we checked in because I'm still stuck at this part where I want to make all of the text handwritten or at least it should appear handwritten. And when I try to do this, there's a lot of lags between the first text that gets generated and then the next few lines. So there's definitely a big bug in the code, which I'm now trying to fix. We have a very dirty looking logic. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to refresh my screen. Don't care about the UI. We are going to fix it. But uh, this life of course, I'm going to try and make it a lot bigger and center it as well. And it should be displayed first. And once it's displayed, then I will display all of these things. And this is the projects that we have. And some skills. My about section is broken. I know why. And then we have a achievements section. And there's definitely a bug here. I think we can clean this up a little. We'll add some images, add some cool user experience things let's see i definitely want to add some kind of like stickers around i think that would be very cute okay so about two and a half hours later this is what we have it kind of works but there's so much i want to improve in it i'm not happy with it there's no way i'm going to publish this I might make a part two, if you want to see that, of me adding some stickers, actually improving the UI so that it looks good, as well as um, the font, because I think it's very unreadable right now. So there's so much I want to improve on this, but it was kind of fun making this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.